Hi Capricorn Aquarius, welcome to your monthly reading. My dog has such a good timing, such a good timing. <laughs> so today we're going to look at your career. If you want to know about your love life, if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe because throughout the month we're going to have some readings about that. Um, and yeah, I hope you had a wonderful birthday. If you're interested, check my Instagram. Uh, we have weekly readings over there. For private readings, go to thecinivirgo.com. You'll uh, find everything there. And if this reading resonates, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, comment, share. Anything that you can do to help support this channel is very, very appreciated. If it doesn't, feel free to check your individual signs. Your, yeah, your individual signs. Because <laughs> uh, this is the general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Also, especially for you, cuz I would really um, advise you, I, I am kind of guilty of saying this, but uh, I would really advise you to subscribe to the newsletter on the thecinivirgo.com because we will have some posts over there about cusps, about how to balance your energies and um, stuff related, okay? So let's get into your reading because this was really, really interesting. Uh, <laughs> so the first thing that I got was the mermaid. Um, and then the mermaid sort of dove, dove, dive deep into the sea um, and was like exploring. And when she was exploring, I started hearing, it's a whole new world. Okay, so that was interesting. Mermaids actually symbolize renewal. And with that song of it's a whole new world, I actually just, just heard that part. I didn't hear anything else from the song. So I do feel like there may be something that you're like in a transition point and now, especially with this Mercury retrograde, you may be purging a lot, releasing a lot and because of that, you get into that renewal stage and you're like, oh my god, it's a whole new world, now I can do whatever I want, okay? So but let's see what this is about, what we, what we get here from um, the Oracle and the Tarot for Capricorn and Aquarius. Okay, so we have protection, we have hunger, and we have balance. Okay, so um, I actually get a pretty good vibe from this hunger. I usually see it as like overworking and uh, trying to accomplish a lot and not really breathing, but I feel like I just get a lot of excitement from this. And with this protection, I do feel like you're definitely being protected. And um, whatever stage, wh wherever you're going next, I feel like you're being protected. And think because things are going to be very, very balanced straight from the beginning. Okay? I do feel like you have been very, very patient. Um, and it's interesting that these two cards have like two windows, right? That whole new world that you were stepping on. Um, and this path, I feel like it has been a little bit painful. Climbing this stair... Uh, like going through this, um, all these clouds, right? Until you get to that entry point where you're on a new world may have been kind of difficult. I feel like it required a lot of patience, a lot of stamina, a lot of um, courage from you. And now I feel like that transition point is really coming to an end. And with that Mercury retrograde, I feel like you're just gonna um officially end the transition and start embarking on a new journey okay that is balance much more balanced than what it was in the past all right but let's pull some tarot over here to see what we got for you okay Okay, well, I guess we got some stuff to talk about here. Let's see. We have... Uh, okay, <laughs> I didn't want to see it, but I guess now that we're here. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles. There it is, that diving deep. Um, Ace of Pentacles, Three Wands, and Temperance. So all that balance, the divine timing of... Uh, and all that water of cleansing and releasing and... Um, new opportunities, they are here, okay? I feel like you have been walking a lot, you have been waiting a lot, but now, especially with this 8 of Wands, it's your overall energy, things are moving crazy fast, and it's a total brand new opportunity, very, very, very balanced, okay? Pentacles are 
really grounded and stable and not always but in this case it is okay especially with this temperance here i feel like you've done the work and you've done some good good work okay so let's see over here this is the overall energy we have for the past we have death there it is that transition there it is that transformation uh we have the nine of wands yeah for current situation three of swords for potential outcome that is interesting. Uh, we have the High Priestess for your blocks, okay, and the Seven of Swords for the advice. Let me actually get one from here, okay, to clarify that Three of Swords, even though I kind of know what that is about, but Nine of Swords, there we go, exactly. Especially with this High Priestess, I feel like you're not listening to your intuition. You're totally blocking it. You're... Because you've been through, through so much, this Nine of Wands is your current situation, and the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. And again, like we discussed, you've been through a lot, okay? I feel like you had to do a lot of shadow work, especially with the Scorpio energy. You had to go through a lot. Um, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if your Chiron is in Scorpio. Um, but I, I do feel like you've done a lot of shadow work, you've purged a lot, and it's like... I'm, I'm still standing. I can't breathe, but I'm still standing. You know, you're you're kind of suffering right now. Um, and because you're suffering, I feel like it's getting hard for you to listen to your intuition. Even though you're receiving calls, you're receiving small um, messages from the universe through synchronicities, through, um, I don't know, birds, for example, through signs in nature, just anything. I feel like you're receiving a lot of signs that are telling you, hey, it's almost over. Hey, do this. Hey, this is the path. Hey, everything's going to be okay. And I, this potential outcome, three of swords, nine of swords, if you, is if you don't listen to your intuition, okay? You have the opportunity to still change that, okay? Time is fluent and we all have free will and this is a potential outcome of how things will keep moving if you keep ignoring your intuition. If you don't, though, if you take a look at those limiting beliefs, because I feel like you've purged a lot, but there may be still a limiting belief of, oh, but it won't work. Oh, but it's it's a whole new world with some things from the past. I'm, I'm never... Because, you know, mermaid, half human, half fish. Um, it's like you still have that sort of attachment to one side of you, uh, possibly the human side. And you're not full fish. And I feel like that may be what's still kind of stuck with you, you know? Um, maybe stuff from the past, pain uh, from the past, situations from the past, stuff that you didn't totally release just yet. It may be very painful to do so. Releasing usually is, letting go usually is. And I do feel like it involves a lot of fears. That courage that we've been talking about. You've had a lot to go through this path. But I feel like you still need a little bit more than that. To go towards that whole new world that we so want. Okay? But let's clarify here some things. Let me see this death. Yeah. I feel like you did start connecting with your heart. With this Three of Swords in Reverse and the King of Cups, uh, Knight of Wands, yeah, you did start connecting with your heart, with your passion, with what you want to do, with what excites you, with what makes you feel good. And you did have to release a lot of stuff, but with this Four of Pentacles, there were still some little stuff, a little bit, um, uh, that Earth side, that human side, of the mermaid that is still a little bit stuck with you that you couldn't totally let go of i feel like you're having a little bit of trouble with that um and i kind of i kind of feel like you already know what those things are it could be people it could be situations it could it could even be a physical house okay something needs to change here um and you may be resisting the change okay let me see that three of swords nine of swords All right. So, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Because I was actually asking, okay, what is the other side of this? What is the other potential outcome? How can, uh, like, 
what can we expect different if we start following your intuition? Look at this beautiful energy. Ace of Cups, Magician, Hermit, big, big spiritual vibes, okay? Big, big purpose vibes, okay? I feel like you'll start connecting with your purpose. You'll start feeling um, such a deep inner knowing of what you're meant to do. You start opening your heart to a new world, to a completely different thing. I do feel like you, you may have done like a full 180 in your career. And that's why that whole new world situation. Um, but th there could be like a little fear of judgment, a little fear of rejection, a little fear of things not working out, you making a big dumb mistake. I don't feel like it's a big dumb mistake, okay? I feel like it's a big amazing thing that you have a lot of courage um, for doing and you can keep going, okay? I feel like it's safe for you to keep going and to listen to that intuition because I feel like it's asking you to take somewhere really, really uncomfortable. When I started this channel, well, the, seriously, because in the beginning it was just half fun, it was just because I needed a little break from college, um, but when I did this, like I committed myself to this, it was really, really scary. I tried to ignore the, those callings a bunch of times, but I just came to this point where I'm like, all right, well, I can't ignore you anymore. I'm just going to go do it. And now I'm happier than ever. Like if I were to wake up every single day and have to do something related with music, I would freak out. I would not be happy at all. And now I wake up every single day wanting to do readings for you guys. It was scary, but I did it. And now I am creating a beautiful life for myself. And you can do that too. I feel like you are on that path too. And it was a full 180, like music and tarot, nothing related, nothing. And I, I had all those fears. I believe that you can release them too. And it's a process. Sometimes those fears come up from time to time. But it's just a matter of you following your heart and following your intuition. Okay, listening to those calls. Because I do feel like we're talking about your purpose here. Yeah, you being independent. You trusting and believing in yourself. Believing that you can do whatever you set your mind to. Okay, believing that this is your life. That you can create whatever you want. So let me see that seven of swords in the advice. So we have two queens, queen of wands and queen of cups, and seven, wow, seven of wands in reverse, yeah. It's about surrendering, basically, okay? Surrendering. So with this hanged man over here, breathing, stopping. Whenever, I it would really advise meditation for you, for you with the seven of wands, um, this is strong meditation vibes. So meditation would be really, really important. And whenever, you, whenever um, you're doing meditation, you are just focusing on your breath. That is the most common type of meditation. Just focus on your breath and you observe your thoughts. For the longest time, I was like, what the hell does it mean to observe your thoughts? Like, how do you do that? <laughs> and it's basically... You focus on your, your on your breath. When you start losing that focus, because it's normal that we do, um, and you start getting into your mind, you start getting a lot of thoughts, you get back to your breath and you're like, oh, well, that, that thought was there. I was thinking about that. Okay, well, that is a lim limiting belief. And one thing that you can do is after that meditation, you journal. You go back to those thoughts and you're like, okay, well, I was thinking about this, but... This is not helping me move forward. This is only a fear. And you have that fear because, and you go back to the past, where did I start? That is very hanged men vibe, a lot of reflection, okay? A lot of getting to know yourself, getting to know your mind, and controlling your mind, not the other way around. Not letting your mind control you, okay? So let's pull some messages and advice here from the universe. For my Capricorn Aquariuses. <laughs> yeah, look at this. New beginning of the horizon. Be unapologetically you. You are definitely on the right path. And this is something that it's it's you, okay? I actually, I wouldn't be surprised if you resonate as a star seed. 
Um, if you don't, you don't have to. I do believe that we're all star seeds, though, but um, you don't have to resonate as a star seed. But if you do, this is your mission, okay? This is what you came here to this earth to do, okay? If you don't resonate, this is your life purpose. This is what you came to this lifetime to do. And this on now, okay? This is what you are meant to do now. Yeah, take a step back, relax, eat pizza. Something needs to end. It's those thoughts. Really take some time to reflect, to journal, okay? To get back to yourself. What else for Capricorn Aquarius can we get? All right. Uh, look at your shadow. There it is. There it is. We have wake up and go now. Do not hesitate. Okay? Do not hesitate. We have gift yourself. This is for you. So go towards it. Okay? Do not give up. Look around. There's something you're not seeing. We also have external factors. That it's those uh, fear of judgment. Fear of rejection. Fear of, uh, I don't know, just anything outside of you. Okay? Release all that. And also, one thing that I'm getting is with those external factors and look around, there's something you're not seeing. Some things could come from your childhood, okay? That you uh, you would benefit from looking at. So, let's pull some final messages for you. Let's see what we have. We have gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. No, you don't. Slow down and celebrate yourself. Because you're doing everything right. You are on the right path. Okay. It's time for healing, not war. Yeah, a lot of healing needs to happen here for you. Um, but I do feel like you're connecting with your purpose here. Honestly. And it's just really a time to slow down. To think about stuff. Reflect about stuff. And you fixing yourself. Not looking for outside things to fix you. Okay. People to fix you. So. Capricorn Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash that like button to subscribe. That really helps the channel to grow. So I would really, really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.